Hello everybody and welcome back to Sonic Adventure. In the last episode we finished the main story. In this episode we're going to be doing all the little extras that I didn't get a chance to do yet. So, first thing I want to show off. Oh, someone has just invited me to something. Apologies for that if I picked up on recording. Uh, but, first thing I want to show off is the Chow Garden. I'm going the wrong way. Sorry, I'm getting fucking steam pinged like a motherfucker. Jesus Christ. Sorry, I meant, I, I meant to go into offline mode. My apologies. I didn't think anyone would actually bother steam messaging me. But, uh, if you go into this elevator here... If it'll load. Welcome to the Chow Garden. This is everybody's favorite section. Me? Definitely better in Adventure 2. I will be going more in-depth into this into Adventure 2. But you can raise these almost Tamagotchi-like... Tamagotchi? Tamagotchi little bastards. And they will grow up to be, um... Really, really strong... Really, uh, they have five stats. Uh, they have stamina, run, power, flying, and... Fuck, what else am I... Swim. Uh, basically, you train them up by giving them the animals that you collect along your way, and it will enhance their stats. Yeah, pretty cool shit. Then you uh, go into here, and you can participate in chow races. But because we don't have any chow, I don't really fuck with chows too much, specifically in this game. In Adventure 2, I fuck with them hard. Adventure 2 is really fun for its chow garden. But if you want a more in-depth explanation, um, I will link Cybershell's video on it. Cybershell did a really good analysis of fucking Chow. It's honestly a really good video. If you haven't checked it out, I'll link it in the description. Uh, you can also go here at the Black Market. And this is what collecting rings mean. You can get a whole bunch of shit for your Chows. With the rings you collect. An entire playthrough of Sonic Adventure only gave me about 1,645 rings. One of these eggs is 8,000. Can you tell why I don't really fuck with the Chow Garden that much in this game? But... There are some things around the adventure field I would like to show off. But first, let's go find the other Chow Gardens, because there are three in this game. There's the one in Station Square, which we just went to. If you head over here, the Mystic Ruins. <laughs> you spin dash over here. And you can access these as any character. Go on through here. Into this area. Welcome to the Mystic Ruins Chow Garden. Yeah, basically the same thing. Just in the Mystic Ruins, and has more water. Pretty cool. And then finally... I just do a spin dash over here. If you get up here on the raft here, to go towards Eggman's Egg Carrier. First of all, you get to hear this, ama this amazing piece of music if you have the monster installed, which I highly recommend. Uh, you head down here. Then go back here. There's a little puzzle here. What you want to do is you want to spell Eggman. So E, G, G, oh, come on. M, A, could you stand on it, you fucking blue prick? Eggman. Good. Then you get access to this teleporter. Which then teleports you to probably the coolest one. Eggman's personal chow garden. I remember fucking around a lot in this one as a kid. Not even like fucking with chows, but just to spin dash jump around like an absolute crackhead. And no, I don't know what that door does. Nobody really does. But you come back over here and step on the teleporter and you're out. But, there is yet more to do about Chow. 
I'll probably just make this episode entirely about Chow or like just like a little extras. So, next thing I'm going to want to show off is there are actually Chow eggs that are hidden around around the adventure field. Yeah, yet again, the adventure field's proving that hub worlds can be fun in a Sonic game. Looking at you, 06, Jesus Christ. Hop on the speedboat here to Station Square. Spin dash over here. And go near the burger shop, but instead, look over. Huh, well this is the area we got our fucking... Our light speed shoes from. Huh. Look at that. Let's go inside and take this egg. Think we gotta pick it up? We're locked inside, oh no. So we place it back down. It goes back on this pedestal. But, have you ever seen Indiana Jones? You head over here. Get the stone. Somehow this guy doesn't stop you from straight up stealing from the store. Place on the egg on the floor. Pick up this egg. Place that down. No, come on. No! Stop it! Fucker! <laughs> Pick up a stone, place it on top of the pedestal, and you're out, and you've successfully committed a crime. Fuck, the fastest bandit alive. So, this will actually allow you to get a golden shell. Which is kind of cool! Also, uh, whoops, why the fuck am I taking it to the Mystic Ruins? But all these chow are completely unique. You can only get one per save file, actually. So, if you get bad luck with the stats, well, you just got fucked. Sorry, don't have to tell you. <laughs> there we go. Um, then we can head back to the Mystic Ruins. I'm more so, like, using the Mystic Ruin, like, these teleporters more to get to the Mystic Ruins even faster. Um, the next egg, right over here. So, in order to get this egg, you have to push down on this button, and it'll be shot out of there, and it will very slowly drift along. You can't just go up and grab it, I don't think. Nope. Doesn't count as being collisioned yet, until it's on the shore. So yeah, you can be Eggman about S Sonic. I know, very funny, I'm a comedic genius, please laugh. <laughs> so, uh, once it gets to the shore... It becomes an actual object. It becomes an actual object you can pick up and take it back to the chow garden. This will yield a silver chow. Which, again, is my personal favorite. Yeah. Right. I don't really know what else there is to say. You just take it back to the chow garden. Wait for it to hatch. Or shake it. Or hell, even fucking throw it against a goddamn wall and make an omelet. <laughs> and it will turn into a silver chow. There we, oh shit, what the fuck am I doing? Train headed for Station Square will we'll be departing, departing soon. soon. So there's one last egg that we can get, which is ironically where all eggs belong. At the egg carrier. Also, when I was a kid, I thought Ace, uh, EC s s fucking... I didn't think it standard for fucking egg carrier. I thought it standard for egg carton. Yeah, yeah I was a dumb kid. <laughs> so you might have seen this one actually in a few cutscenes. Um, with Gamma and Amy. Um, oh, can I not access this one as Sonic? Huh! Well, fuck, I'll be damned. Alright, here, I need to quickly switch characters. I'll be right back. Hmm. Never thought I'd be playing as Amy again, but I guess this is the fastest character that can go back here besides Gamma. So you just hit that switch. Walk on through. Ignore that shit again. Head back here. Uh, it's the, I think it's this one. Yep. You get a dark egg. Try not to make a black omelet out of it. <laughs> so then you just gotta run it back over here. Again, it would be a lot simpler if, you know, I could do this as Sonic. But, once you hatch this one, it'll turn into a black chow. Again, uh, another really cool chow. I'm not sure if these were in Sonic Adventure. I'll put an annotation on screen if they were. Like the original, not like, um, like non-DX. Because I remember, um, I think that, um, I think the, uh, Chow Garden for Eggman and in the Mystic Ruins, I think were added after 4DX. But I could be wrong. Oh. 
And after once you hatch this, it'll turn into a dark chow. Pretty cool. Alright, there's one more mode that I would like to show off. I'm not going to be 100% setting this mode. Mainly because there is literally zero point. But... This is mission mode. Uh, I believe it unlocks after you've either beaten the game or beaten a story. But basically, there's a mission log of over 60 fucking missions that can be found around the world. That, yeah, they look like these. You touch them. Bring the man who's in front of the burger shop to that location. It's basically like really mindless stuff like that. You don't even get any emblems for it. But it's just something fun if you want to do it. The town missions literally mean nothing. But you can do them. It's not like Sonic 06 where some of these are fucking required for progression. But you just take, you know, let's just take this burger man. And boom, there you go. Mission clear. I did all these as a kid thinking I was going to get something really cool. I didn't. Alright, well there's one last thing that I have to show off. But I have to go to a completed save file in order to do that. Like a 100%. So I'll be right back. Alright, now that we're here on our completed save file, let's head into trial. Select your character. Would you look at that? Metal Sonic? Huh, that's weird. I didn't Select see Metal Sonic save. playable. Unfortunately, Metal Sonic is only playable in trial mode, and he plays just like Sonic. But, this is one of the only times in a 3D Sonic game where Metal Sonic is playable. And he's a completion reward. Plays just like Sonic. Doesn't have any voice lines. Doesn't have any cool abilities. He's just a reskin. But hey, it's still a really cool extra, and I'm glad they gave you something for 100 percent in this game. It's still at top speed, he still runs like normal instead of hovering, like how he normally does, but it's whatever. But for fuck's sake, someone keeps disc gripping me. Jesus Christ, the day of interruptions. It will never be fucking ending. Could have closed it. Alrighty then. Yeah, it's, it's just a really cool thing that they added for getting all 130 emblems. I heard it was 120, but I got Mario 64 on the, on the mind. But no, it's 130. Um, the only reason why I'm not going at the... why I uh, switched over and aren't doing it normally, like for the Let's Play, is because it requires you to, one, replay Amy in big sections to get more emblems from those already existing stages, which, no thank you, but you also have to do Chow stuff. I'm not gonna make you guys watch a fucking 20-part series on how the day in the life of Chow. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure there's plenty of videos out there like that. I'm not gonna, I, I'm personally not gonna be making that content. I'm sure you can find it somewhere, but you're not gonna find it here. I cannot give a single fuck about Chow, really, in this game. And yeah, just a nice little extra. That's basically all that there is left in Sonic um, Adventure. I mean, you can play the Game Gear games, which those are fun little time killers. But I don't really feel the need to play through them right now. But you do get a wide selection. Surprisingly, once you get all the emblems, you get Sonic the Hedgehog for the Game Gear, Sonic Drift, Sonic Chaos, Sonic Spinball, Sonic Labyrinth, Sonic 2, again, also the Game Gear port, Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine, I'm not sure if this is the Game Gear port or not, and Sonic Triple Trouble. Honestly, all pretty good games except for Labyrinth and Spinball. This one's kind of terrible. Also, I think Sonic Chaos was kind of... meh, but I don't know. Yeah, but that's basically all that Sonic Adventure has left to offer. Overall, really good game. Like it a lot. Options. And the, you want to the next, the only thing that's fucking, the only thing that's really left is Select. say our goodbyes to this game. I do wish we do get another Sonic Adventure style game. Sound test. You get to listen but, to cool sounds. but you know, whatever. Overall. 
this was a really fun game to uh, let's play, and I would, I, I would honestly kind of love to do it again. But you know, that's always what Adventure Two is for. So I'll see you guys around for my next let's play, whenever that gets announced. See you around, guys. Later.